This week I've been testing HTC's new flagship smartphone, the HTC One M8. It's the latest in the Taiwanese company's family of handsets with their sleek metal cases, excellent sound quality and advanced HTC Sense user interface. But has the HTC One M8 got what it takes to challenge Samsung's new Galaxy S5 and help its struggling manufacturer regain some of its former glory? The HTC One M8 is a premium smartphone built around Qualcomm's latest quad-core processors running the most up-to-date version of Google's Android mobile operating system. While the Galaxy S5 packs a huge number of features into its water-resistant plastic case in the hope that everyone will find something they like, HTC's One M8 focuses instead on a relatively small set of features that it hopes will appeal to the most sophisticated and discerning smartphone buyers. Some of these features, like the ability to go from sleep directly into camera mode by holding down the volume rocker switch, and being able to answer a call simply by raising the handset to an ear are likely to be big hits with users, but hardly qualify as knockout innovations. Other new features, however, seem more like marketing gimmicks. The most obvious example is the One M8's Duo camera system, which consists of two rear sensors, including one that captures depth information, enabling users to adjust the focal point of an image after it's been taken. It's a neat idea, but in my view, fails to fully compensate for the camera's relatively low resolution. It's no coincidence, of course, that the HTC One M8 will go on sale in a handful of leading countries, including the US, UK, Germany and China, in two weeks' time, the same date as Samsung's long-anticipated Galaxy S5 finally reaches the market. Overall, the One M8 is a good choice if you want a nicely built smartphone. But like Samsung's Galaxy S5, it's another evolutionary device that incorporates a number of useful improvements, but no real breakthrough innovations.